Well, it's January 2023, and uh, no better way to start the new year off than head to Arizona and do some hunting. So, uh, heading southbound here, going through uh, New Mexico right now. Be, uh, be in Arizona this evening. Um, DIY with the bow in the hand going after some coos deer so it's going to be a tough hunt um, they're just a tough critter to kill with a bow so spot stock style not going to be sitting on water holes or anything like that so it'll be tough it'll be a challenge but uh, it's how I like to hunt so um, got about eight days uh, to hunt down here so weather's looking good they've had some moisture down here throughout December so um, hopefully the deer will be active getting ready to rut and uh, be, make them a little easier to find so stick with us um, should be a good good eight days coming up first morning of the the hunt here um, got hiked up here to the first first hilltop to do some glassing um, this country has a little more trees than I was hoping uh, as you can tell behind me um, mountaintops have snow there they have had some snow in this area in the last couple weeks so way up high there's some snow but uh, beautiful morning haven't seen any deer yet um, so we'll see what we got gonna do some glass and do some more hiking out on the tripod 15 by uh, 56 Soros these deer are just hard to find yesterday was a great day saw two different bucks and probably 10 10 to 12 does right at the end of uh, about last 40 minutes of light I saw a buck bumping a doe down in a canyon, and so I made a play on him. I got within about 80 yards, and I started doe bleeding at him. And he was just watching in the general area where the bleat was coming from, and he wasn't moving. So I moved around to a different position, and I should have stayed there. I didn't know he was ended up coming towards me. And he ended up busting me at like 35, 40 yards. If I would have stayed put, I might have had a shot at him. Hard saying, but he was coming in my direction. So, we'll see what happens on day two here. That doesn't help the deer hunting any. The guy in the side by side. Making all kinds of noise going down the trail. I might have to relocate. Well, 
Well, it's day five of the hunt. I haven't tuned in for a while. Um, it's been uh, been tough as expected. Um, this coos deer hunting with a bow, spot and stock is quite a challenge to say the least in this country. Um, just uh it's hard to even find a buck for one and then f once you find one just getting close enough to do a stock it's really loud as far as walking through the grass and the, and the brush and rocks and everything else but uh i found a few here and there and made a couple plays on a couple bucks and tried bleating them in um Got close on night one. I might have already said that on one of my posts. I don't know, but uh, it's been pretty tough. I saw three bucks yesterday, a couple does. This morning so far walking, I have busted two does. I haven't seen a buck yet today. But uh, this kind of shows the, some of the country I'm, I'm in right now. The doe I just busted went clear down through that hill there. But, uh, it's beautiful country. It's just, uh, just hard to find them, hard to get on them. It's just how it is. But, uh, I got. Got the rest of today and three more full days after today, so I've moved spots a few times, um, even moved areas into a different area now than I originally started, but uh, we'll stay after it. That's all you can do. Just got to keep on keeping on. All right, tune in later. Saw a really good buck this morning. I've seen five or six doe and fawn. Um, just bumped a doe and a fawn. I walked all the way across around the canyon to try to get on the buck and I can't find him. So who knows where he's at, but I uh, currently got cliffed out here. country. Well, coos deer hunt is over. Um, finished up last night, day eight. Just wanted to give a quick kind of recap. I, uh, I don't think I came in with a video since day five or so. Um, ended up moving to a couple other different spots. Um, the last spot I went was a really cool spot, uh, for the last day and a half. Um, ended up seeing probably six or seven different bucks um one really good buck um saw him from about 400 yards away but what i kind of ended up doing the last afternoon i got in this spot and uh found this high rock shelf bench kind of and i just ended up starting to blind call just bleats and grunts and kind of just going as loud as i could and even did a little bit of rattling crazy all of a sudden i mean after about 45 minutes of doing that i see a deer about 90 yards away below me and he's coming right at me and i get ready and long story short i just couldn't get a shot on him um I, he got within 40 yards 
I'm trying to range, I'm trying to get pulled back without him busting me. Um, and I didn't even get pulled back. He, uh, ended up, he didn't really bust me. He just kept on walking. I couldn't get him to stop. Um, but that was just really cool. So it was a really good day. Um, to, good way to end the hunt. Uh, you know, this hunt, I, I guess as far as killing a, a coos deer was not successful, but, um, extremely successful and i went solo it was my very first solo hunt i've ever attempted um it was a lot of fun i mean i'd obviously much rather have my buddies with me but you know i think as as hunters sometimes it's good to push the limits on yourself see what you can do see what you can get away with just by yourself and you know i learned a lot a lot about myself on this hunt um proved myself i could do it you get lonely at times, I guess. You get bored at times in the evening when it's dark and you're not hunting. You know, I was just sitting in my truck. Um, I wasn't throwing a tent or any of that. I was just camping in my truck, you know, and I was mobile in my truck. You know, I went to four or five different spots throughout this hunt. Um, just slept in the back of my truck. So I just think it was a good, a good first solo hunt for anybody that tries a coos deer hunt. You know, they're a small animal. You know, it's not like you're dive bombing into the deep timber for an elk by yourself and then you get three miles in the woods and happen to get one down and then it's like oh now what you know i'm by myself so uh where a coos deer you get one down you can pretty much gut the thing and throw it on your back and walk back to your truck or your tent or whatever so that was a lot of fun um i just encourage anybody to to give it a shot um they're a tough animal to hunt. They're a lot of fun. I mean, I've just, I've never hunted an animal that's just so cagey and so aware all the time. I mean, they live amongst mountain lions and bears and, you know, you name it, trying to get them all the time. So they're just always, they're always aware. But that's my hunt. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm off to uh, Texas now to go fish with uh, with another buddy. Going to meet him at a lake, and uh, we're going to fish a couple days for bass. So tune in to the next one. We'll see you later.